on you guys early morning today it's about 6 45 i'm up so i can head over to my parents to get the clutch pedal assembly installed ready to go here's the clutch pedal assembly finally uh, as you can see these are a little worn out but that's okay i can change those um in this spring it's not actually rusted it just uh is kind of that color and i think it kind of oxidizes over time but it's not rusted though um and then this spring up here is obviously fine so yeah uh it looks like just bolts up here and then there are a couple slots for things that fit there obviously i don't know exactly what does so i'll have to get up there and see but um Pins right here, actually on the other side, uh, where you need to take out the um, cylinder. And uh, I don't, I'm gonna change it out right now. It's not gonna be hooked up obviously to anything yet because uh, you can't run the hard lines until you actually have the transmission. So, uh, or in. So, yeah, that's a look at it. And, uh, Part number, in case you guys are wondering. And we'll see what happens. There's a couple connectors on here, but it looks like they're both for the clutch assembly. They're not hooked up to the brake. So we'll see once we get in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my best to uh, show you guys what's been going on. So first off, you gotta remove the lower dash panel. There is, let's see if you can see, uh, one, two, and three T15 uh, little torque screws, look like that. Um, and then you also have to undo the hood release. There is a screw right here regular um, Phillips screw and then you kind of just wiggle this out from the dash panel and then this last one this slides to the left so the way my thumb is moving after you uh, hold on both of these there's little prongs on the end and you can see the grooves um, are both opened up to the right, meaning it slides to the left. So I don't know if this is on all W203, W209s, but CB5 has it. It's on kind of the back of the dash panel. I never even noticed it was there. But uh, yeah, slide this to the left, and that's how you get that one out. After that, um, you can pretty much see um, the pedal assembly, except this plate is in the front of it um, and to get this off very simple you just basically kind of pull it up there is these uh, gold prongs you can see right there that hold it in place on both sides and then I think it's just kind of like a little uh, um, groove that fits in on the lower part but once you get those two gold things off, it just kind of pops right out. Um, there was a big piece of foam like up in here, but I just took it out so it's not in the way. So there's a big piece of foam. There's the dash panel. Um, so the biggest thing, hopefully it's helpful, is I could not find this view, like just this view from underneath the dash for the life of me online. Um, I just couldn't find it anywhere. I tried to look at the WIST documents, uh, MBEPC, all kinds of stuff. And I just, I couldn't find this view anywhere. So I didn't know how accessible everything was gonna be. Um, so it looks like I should be able to swap everything out. Um, the only thing I'm waiting on is, I'm not sure what um, kind of uh, nut or bolt or whatever this is, the mechanism that holds the uh, brake pedal. Um, to the booster so uh, yeah I'm gonna figure that out and then after that I can take out those two nuts 
that are on the sides of it. Look like maybe 13 mils, maybe. Um, and then besides that, I don't think there's anything else holding in place. It's funny because I thought those two holes up there, I thought those were like uh, placements for nuts, but I guess they're not. I guess the only thing that holds it in place is these two on the back from what I see so far. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, we'll see once I get a little further. All right, so I just released the uh, pin for the brake booster. This, this uh, clip is kind of difficult, but supposed to pry it up on one side and kind of push this way but I don't know we kind of broke it on one side but it should still be usable and then uh, once you get the clip off push this towards the passenger side I'll show you guys right where is it right there where the hole is connected to the brake booster push it to the right and now I'm gonna get uh, the three nuts off. There's not two, there's actually one up top as well, if you can see that. And they are 13 millimeters, so I'll have to play with some extensions and see how I'm gonna get them off. All right, and just like that, pedal assembly is out. It's kind of a pain in the ass just because you're working in an awkward angle, but yeah, there's the uh, three uh, stud holes or the nuts go and uh besides that i mean you just have to kind of finagle it out and uh comes out no problem would you look at that i have three pedals pretty cool man um so all in all just reverse order it was kind of a pain in the butt to get up in there just because uh mostly like the wiring loom on the left hand side you kind of have to like hold it to get the left side past it and then once it's past it, it's fine um the upper portion design is pretty similar to the other one so that doesn't take much finessing but uh yeah you just got to line it up on the grooves and um once you do that and you get it lined up on the studs pretty easy from there just make sure you get the uh pin back in the brake pedal and the clip like i said the clip kind of broke on me but it's still i mean working for what it's supposed to do so yeah let's go for a test drive and make sure everything's good to go i'm probably not going to put this lower panel back on just because i know i'm going to be um you know i'm gonna have to take this out most likely um or i mean at least have more room to maneuver once I actually install the transmission. Um, I left out the, uh, um, it's called a master cylinder, just because the pins, I'll show you guys real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pins do not fit for some reason on the new one that I got. So these pins right here, like they slide pretty easily into these guys. Just a little, it's like a pressure fitting, but it's, I mean, it's easy to get through. This one, no matter what, like I was literally hammering it with a, with the, uh, what's it called? A little uh, chisel thing and just tapping on it and it would not go through, would not budge. So I decided I'll leave this out. That way too, if I leave it out, I can hook up this line and feed it through um, most likely without having to take the whole pedal assembly out again. So I figured, you know, better to just leave it out for now. And then um, I still have access to all the pin locations while it's in there. So I just settled on that as the idea. Uh, I'll probably, I ordered this one as a Beck and Arnley. It was like super cheap on sale. So I just picked it up. But uh, you can tell this one has a metal housing and this is plastic. And maybe it's just better off to go with the plastic one. I, I thought maybe metal was going to be better. But yeah, I might just go with something else that I know fits. Because, um, I mean, yeah, I could like shave the pin zone or I could hollow this out a little bit. But 
that's kind of a hassle. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, these clips are on the back, uh, controlling the clutch. So I got to ask Dimitri what those, what those are for. Um, and if I, we need to reuse those or, um, kind of what the deal is with those. So yeah, all in all, I'm stoked. Uh, I got three pedals in the C55. Can't really believe it, man. It's pretty cool. Um, pedal placement feels pretty good. Feels natural. Um, brake is sitting good position to the gas pedal. Um, I mean, it's not perfect for heel, heel and toe because the gas pedal's probably a couple inches forward from the brake pedal, but I mean, it's definitely doable. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe down the line I can look at changing things up a bit, but I mean, it's totally comfortable the way it is. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Super happy that it's in. I'm gonna get this stuff kind of tucked up to the sides. I don't have to worry about it right now. I'm gonna leave the underneath panel on or panel off, like I said. So I don't have to worry about taking it off um, again next time. Um, and I'll just put everything back together once we're complete. So, okay, pedals are in. Needless to say, I'm pretty stoked right now, man. Looking down, I have three pedals, it's crazy. Um, so all in all, um, went smoothly. One step down, many more steps to go, but uh, this was the first kind of real installation to the manual swap. So super happy, man. Um, thank you guys for following along. Uh, please like, comment. I respond to all the comments. I always try to, I, I like, like really try to do that for you guys and uh, continue the conversation between us. So uh, yeah, comment, please do so. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing and hit the notification bell if you guys wanna see when the next parts are dropping or you want to follow along with the build series and not miss out on anything so yeah thank you guys so much and uh i will see you guys on the next one peace